Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith, here to answer the very common question, how to get your files out of Adobe Audition. I get this question enough that I thought uh, it deserved a quick uh, tutorial on how to do this. Shout out goes to my buddy during Gleaves, product manager for uh, Adobe Audition and everything audio over at Adobe. Thanks, buddy. Uh, he hooked me up with this 71 uh, track uh, clip to use, and we're gonna export out 71 tracks, and we're gonna do it all at once. If you want these files, these files and thousands of others are free for you to download to try out uh, in your audio application. You can go to Cambridge Music Technology, and the link will be in the description, and there are tons and tons and tons of different songs, genres, all the multi-track files for you to import and use. So that will be a link in the description so you can do that. Uh, here's one song that I've got. Uh, we're in the multi-track part of um, Audition and you can see all the tracks here. Now, when they're brought in uh, from Cambridge site, they're solid stems. So they're, they're not individual pieces like this. They're one long track. And although one long track might have just a little bit of audio in the middle, Durin went in and, and trimmed each one of these. So this is more representative, representative of a recorded multi-track session where you've punched in and punched out in different sections. It still sounds the same. It's just, it looks a little different. Now, let me start by showing you how to export one file, because that's, we might as well look at that. Um, when you have one file selected over here, you can't export it until you double click on it and open it in the sample editor, then go to the file menu, export, file, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. And from here, you can ch choose um, any of the built-in formats and export that out. I also have another tutorial about batch exporting, but this is different. Now let's go back to the multi-track session. And I have a folder set up that's empty. So this is the folder we're going to export into. This is my multi-track session. I'll play a bit of that for you. Jump ahead. Okay, so all of these tracks here, we want to export. Uh, we're not gonna export out the submixes, but uh, Duran did make submixes of each one of the different sections of the song, although you could. So if I wanted to, I could take 71 tracks and I could export out a, a vocals track, drum, percussion, synth, and piano. I could consolidate all of this to five different tracks if I want. So with the multi-track open in the file menu, export, multi-track mix down entire session. If I had an in and out point marked in the top, then I could do a time selection. If I had clips selected, then I would do the clips themselves. But here I'm going to do the entire uh, session. Uh, this is the folder that I'm exporting it to. This is the format that I'm exporting it to, which is WAV format. You can go out to anything you want, including MP3. This is the sample type, um, and the sample type is the same. So these are all 44.1 uh, kilohertz and 24-bit. That's very, very standard in professional audio world. It's good quality. Um, it doesn't make sense to go higher than that. If this was 48K, 32-bit, great, export that out at, at that. But if I turn this up to 196K, you're just, you're wasting things. It's, it's not that uh, important. Um, you could change the format settings here. And you can set that. This is strictly for the wave settings. Again, I'm going to leave it on 24-bit, um, uncompressed 44, 20, and 24-bit. Um, you can include the markers and other metadata. You can open the files after they export. I've already got quite a few in here, so I don't want to export that out. 
And here's the important part, mix down options. By default, this is one stereo master. If you click and change this, and we open this up, take this off of the stereo master, and then close that up, and instead, you could click on individual tracks if you wanted, um, or like I said, we could go all the way down to the submixes and just export the submixes if you have submixes created. Or you can click on the track, um, overall track selection. Now we've selected every single one of these tracks. And I'll click OK. Oh, and we can embed the edit original uh, file so that it would load the session back up. And you can see now we've got this mix down option showing all of those. I'm gonna click OK, and Audition's gonna to go to work, and it's gonna start counting down and showing you what's going on. Let's jump to that folder, and you can see it's populating that folder right away. And these little files here are the peak files, the little uh, waveform previews, and these audio files down here are the actual audio files. You can see that Audition is pretty darn fast in, in uh, doing this but it's going to fill that up and see we're already at 46 items. So we're gonna have double the amount. Uh, the peak files are the little waveforms. A lot of people don't know that the waveform you see in an audio file isn't in the audio file. Audio files don't have pictures in them. Audio files are just sound. That waveform is a way to represent that file. If you don't have a waveform uh, already drawn, then the application you're using has to draw the waveform, and not every program draws them. Um, Audition is making those peak files easier for you to redraw because they're already drawn. So if I brought this into Premiere Pro, it would look and see all the peak files are already drawn and not have to redraw them. Oh, and oh, we're still exporting out. You can see we're at 62% here. I'll speed this up for you so we don't have to wait around. All right, we're at 95, 96%. And if I scroll down, you'll see there's all the audio files right there. So there's 142 items. Like I said, you've got the peak files up in the top and all of the audio waveforms down there. Double clicking on any of those will open that up to play it. You could import these back in if you wanted to. Uh, let's just do that just for yucks. I'm gonna close everything that I have here and I'll make sure I'm not bringing in the, the, the peak files, I just wanna bring in the audio files. You can use the media browser uh, that Audition has, or you can use the file menu, uh, but I'll just bring them back in, select them all, and click on this insert into multi-track, and it's going to put all of these into a new multi-track session. I'll call this Imported tracks. Click OK. And there they are all brought in. So you can see now their full duration front to back, even though there's only a little bit of audio in here. That's the way that those are exported. You'll hear the term stems a lot of times. Uh, um, that's what people will call these things. They're exporting out stems. So when I record my own music and send it to my producer to master, he'll ask for the stems and I'll export out high quality 24-bit stems and then he'll uh, master that uh, out or mix that down and master that out. All right, so there you go. Thank you, Duran Leaves, for this wonderful track uh, that we could show you all of these tracks. It's, I don't think there's a limit, so you could export out all of these files at once. Uh, now you know how to get your files out of Audition, whether it's one file or multiple files. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informer, please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, like our wonderful, amazing PayPal supporters, they can donate, you can donate uh, one time or monthly. They do all the time and we love them for it. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel. If you wanna be notified of our weekly tutorials, you gotta ring the bell down at the bottom so you know when we've got a new tutorial. 
Uh, to everybody that supports us, thank you very much. Till next time, it's, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you organized and get your files out of Adobe Audition.